These 3D printed parts made the lightest breaker bar that exists. And today we're gonna see if this breaker breaks or it can bust off a huge nut. Giggity. Here's a standard breaker bar. Here's a carbon and 3D printed aluminum breaker bar. The weight difference is huge. You would not believe it. This weighs like nothing. I got this idea from seeing the Bugatti Chiron uh, titanium brake caliper, and they use the same exact idea. They just used a generative design and then metal 3D printed from titanium, a brake caliper. It looks totally insane. It has all these crazy organic shapes that you know your mind would never think of, but from nature, that's the optimal shape. Generative design is actually an AI driven or algorithm driven process where you give the computer constraints of where to leave material so in this case, I left material here. That's mandatory because that's going to go inside the tube. Then I also left these two. And then I actually told it, don't build material all around here. This one's titanium. This one's aluminum. And so is this. These two are printed from an alloy called aluminum, silicon, 10 magnesium. I think it's very similar to a 6061 T6 alloy, but pretty much made for a powdered uh, metal 3D printing. And this one is close to a TI6AL4V, like a grade 5 titanium. They call it, I think, TC4. But very, very cool looking. Fusion 360 popped out over probably a hundred separate designs. Here's a few of them. And each of these designs has about 30 iterations maximum. So, I mean, it gives you tons of options. You can choose the lightest or the stiffest per unit mass. Some of these look absolutely nuts and I'm not even sure they work at all. Here's what Fusion 360 says the factor safety is for titanium on this part. It is 5.22 repeating. So we're gonna test that, we'll see, but with aluminum. So we just got back from the track and the rear wheel nut is torqued to 100 foot-pounds, which is way less than Ducati spec 169 foot-pounds. Because every time I torque at the spec, I mean, I have to use like a impact driver to get it off. It's crazy. It like tightens up somehow. Leave your bets in the comments below how much torque you think this is going to take. Our torque meter. Zeroed out, foot pounds. snapped right off 71.8 foot-pounds crazy so fusion 360 was wrong <laughs> look at that logo still attached on there just to clarify this test is just using the outputs directly from Fusion 360 with no engineering. So when it said factor of safety of five for that last part that just broke, I took it directly as that. Um, I did check on SolidWorks and I'll put that up. It did say it was gonna fail a lot sooner than that. The stresses were extremely high for this part that failed. 
and Fusion 360 said it should be fine. So I'm not expecting much from this one. Although it's a stronger material, the the shape of it, the geometry is much weaker it seems. So this one, if you look in here, you can see I reamed this one out a little bit using a 10 millimeter reamer. And then this side, 10 millimeter by 1.5 uh, pitch threads. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this now. So when I went to tap these threads, I ended up snapping off an M10 by 1.5 millimeter tap in there. So I'm not sure if it's work hardening in here, but this is a hell of a lot stronger than the aluminum. I'm gonna try and make a fixture real quick and just like line bore this because this also might be offset from these might not be uh, concentric with each other. So this is a little sketchy, but we're gonna see how it cuts. I'm not even sure it's gonna cut very well at all because this is gonna to wanna to flex out of the way when it's cutting. around 8.8 .8, so that should be really good for the uh, tap to go in pretty easily with no stress how this tap hasn't broken yet I have no idea but it really sounds like it wants to join his buddy here it's going little by little I've never had to use this much lube for tapping anything <laughs> this is crazy Okay, here we go, this could be it. I don't even need to tap this deep, but I really want to see this thing pop to the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna try the titanium version of that, and we're gonna see if it can get up to 100 foot pounds. Hopefully it does, but I don't really have high hopes to be honest. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Holding it? Yeah. Hold it. Hold it tight. Oh! Oh, it broke the carbon fiber. Nice. That's crazy. 999. So the last attempt broke because I didn't epoxy it like I did with this. I just put some painter's tape on it to try to take up this thickness here. So account, this is for the uh, bond line thickness. When you epoxy this in, you need a certain amount of thickness for the epoxy to adhere. So I didn't do that and it created a stress concentration in there and you can see it just busted up that carbon fiber pretty good. So this is a third final attempt. See what it can do. Oh, it broke. There we go. So I guess it went over 150 foot-pounds because that's the max for this. Look at that. Crazy. Well, I guess the answer is no, you cannot just print off a 3D print from Fusion 360 and expect it to work. So yeah, that's that. So far we've broken the aluminum 3D printed version. We've broken the titanium 3D printed version. 
So now I'm on the last resort that I can afford here. And this is uh, tool steel, 3D printed. And it's actually very uh, strong alloy. It's a miraging steel, or marriaging steel, sorry. And uh, this is exceptionally strong, not in the 3D print version so much, but um, in the billet version, it's ex really strong, like 300 KSI uh, ultimate tensile strength, which is insane. Um, gonna attempt tapping this hole right here, and it's, uh, I tapered it a little bit to help ease in the, the tap. Take a little bit less torque to uh, get started. Let's see what happens. I'm on a tap breaking streak this week, so going for number four, baby. So I'm going to use this M10 by 1.5 millimeter tap. It's made for cobalt steel, so it should cut right through this thing, but we'll find out. Barely fitting the Starrett 93B tap holder. <laughs> This round we're going with tool steel and a lot beefier design and a couple more substantial ribs down inside there if you can see that that were not there before and Fusion 360 basically said this was enough material and it clearly wasn't. We're going to be using our titanium flex head ratchet to install this. right about 420 grams. So this carbon fiber and generative design 3D printed uh, breaker bar actually weighs about one third the weight of a standard breaker bar, which is crazy. All right, round number three, baby. We're gonna see if this works. Two hundred and forty-three newton meters. See that? Two hundred forty-three newton meters. So I don't know what that is in foot pounds. That's crazy. It actually worked. Wow. All right. So we went through the first iteration aluminum, second iteration titanium, grade five, third iteration, and finally worked uh, tool steel. That I actually modified the design a little bit to help it work. So I would say definitely run FEA before you go ahead and print off anything from Fusion 360 because, I mean, that just doesn't ever seem like it could ever work. All right, thanks for watching.